Hey everyone, Michelle Alexandria coming at you with a Seltzer blog. It's been a while since I've done one of these Seltzer blogs. I'm trying to get back on the whole Seltzer water kick. I've fallen off the wagon. Um, so the whole point of these vlogs or vlogs or whatever is just for me to uh, be on camera and talk to you a little bit about and treat you all as though you're adults and talk about what's on my mind. Uh, what's on my mind today is console versus PC. Um, and why am I still a console gamer after all of this nonsense? And I need my glasses because wearing glasses makes me look intelligent, don't you think? Don't you think wearing these glasses makes me look intelligent? So why do I still uh, prefer consoles over PC? I'm going to try to make this video quick. Uh, the main reason why I prefer consoles over PCs is quite simple. I'm just, I'm not a PC game. I'm not a PC user. I use Macs. I've used Macs for 13, 14 years now, and God, I'm so tired of Macs. I really want to switch, but I'm a creature of habit. And the reason why I'm, I've been thinking about uh, consoles versus PCs lately is the state of console gaming is kind of terrible. And I don't want to make this a whole like negative video. I'm just doing a straight comparison. I recently just bought the Seagate two terabyte SSD card for my Xbox Series S. It's, it cost me 400 bucks. And again, I'm not one who necessarily cares about the cost of things. Either I can afford it or, or I don't. So I'm not complaining about the cost. Um, I'm just stating the fact that this cost me $400. I bought a a two terabyte card for my PlayStation 5. That cost me $500. Then I bought the PlayStation 5, $700. And I bought a Xbox Series 7 X. Again, seven hundred. So basically, all told, I spent over twenty three hundred dollars just in hardware for my next gen consoles. And I'm not even a super gamer anymore, especially since I have arthritis in my hands. And when getting old sucks. So one of the things I want to tell you guys: appreciate what you have. Stop being so toxic. Stop the fanboy nonsense. If you want to be a Sony po a Sony gamer or a Nintendo gamer, or a PC gamer, or an Xbox gamer. Just be a gamer and have fun with your console. The world does not have to revolve around you. Uh, you don't have to di try to dictate um, what other people do just because you like Sony. Doesn't mean everyone else has to like it. Um, that's one of my problems with the internet. Everyone thinks their way is the only way. I have both consoles, as I showed in my picture, and I play on both. Um, so, so that's one, that's one reason. The other reason why I'm not a PC gamer is the simple fact that I'm at my desk all day and staring at the PC all day. The last thing I want to do is go home and stare, have a P, stare at a PC being hooked up to my happy place, which is my TV. That's my happy place, my living room, my couch, my nice TV. Um, I don't want to be staring at all the lights and everything else that are, I don't want to be staring at a PC. And if I buy, if I spend $2,500 on a PC, then I, that PC is going to be for work. A, a PC for me is a work machine. It's not something I'm going to use for gaming. And I'm not going to be hooking it up to my desktop monitor. And then whenever I feel like playing that occasional game, I'm not going to unhook all that stuff and drag it over to my, to my, um, to my TV. The other problem with uh, the other issue with me um, used to be it used to be I never wanted to deal with all the hassles of PC gaming. I never wanted to deal with uh, all the all the software upgrades, the deal, the patches, and the bugs and any of that kind of stuff. And the problem is console gaming has become just like PC gaming for in all the worst ways, where basically everything now requires a day one. 30 or 40 gigabyte update. Um, and if you don't play a game for a month or two, when I finally want to go back to Call of Duty or whatever, it, it, I, or even like God of War or something, next thing I know, I have to install a 20 gigabyte up three hour, three or four hour update. And I'm like, really? Why do I have to install so many updates for Ghost of Tsushima? Really? I mean, that game's over a year old. Every time I turn that stupid game on, I have to spend an hour updating something. And I'm like, why? It's a, all, it's a single person 
It's a single person action game. Why am I constantly updating that game? It's a it's frustrating. And and the same with like God of War God of War, Spider-Man, any of these games, I have to constantly update and it just kills the mood. By the time I do that, I'm sort of like over it. I'm like, I'll just watch Hawkeye or something. Um so yeah, for all of those reasons, um I, but the thing I love about console gaming is, actually there's not much I love about console gaming as it relates to PC gaming. The problem, the fact of the matter is I'm just used to console gaming. I've always had multiple consoles um, connected to my TV. And at the end of the day, I'm just used to it. I like the controls. And that's not even a huge distinction because you could use console controllers on your PCs now. You don't have to use mouse and keyboard. So, yeah, I'm almost convincing myself to buy a PC. But I would never buy a PC simply because at this point, while they're both similar, the simple fact of the matter is, for me, a PC is for work, and it's a multi-function device that's not just for gaming. And because of that, I will probably never be a PC gamer. So yeah, the, re the real reason why I did this video is just to let you all know that I'm back! I'm back in the saddle, I'm doing videos again, I'm trying to have fun with life, and life is good. I hope that everything's going great with you guys, and I'd be curious. If you guys can have an adult conversation about this, I would love to know what your preference is and why without you resorting to lists or like insulting each other or any of that kind of stuff. I would like to know, you know, why are you a PC gamer or why are you a Xbox gamer or whatever. Let's see if we can have an adult friendly conversation up in these YouTube streets. So anyway, hope you guys are doing well. I have a... I have a bunch of videos coming up, including a bunch of interviews uh, that I want to post in the next few days, and some other things. So anyway, talk to you guys later. Bye.